Right, you guys, got another video here for you on how to archive folders in Outlook to free up space in your inbox. Now, if you've got Outlook and you've got a load of emails on there, this can cause major problems like slowing down, and also you can run out of space in your inbox. So you can see here, first off, what we're going to do here is clean up some emails manually. So let's go to our Outlook folder here, and we're going to go through and empty all the junk emails and you need to work your way through your inbox to remove any sort of junk from your inbox. And this way you can keep on top of things to make sure your inbox doesn't get bloated with junk mail. So as your emails come in, you want to read them and you definitely want to remove them and also block them. You can block emails that you don't want to receive from a certain domain and all those sorts of other things that you can do in your inbox. If you look at this one here, you can also go through and unsubscribe to unwanted uh, feeds that are coming into your inbox, just like this. You can just unsubscribe from. And if you've got other nasty types of emails like these ones here that are trying to lure you into clicking onto a link, then don't click on it. Just delete them and block them. Check out for your inboxes. Right click on your uh, email address and click uh, data file properties in this box click on folder size and this will give you all the information about how large your inbox is your mailbox is you can see here it's quite a large one and uh, the inbox is pretty much full here if you've got a five gig limit or you've got a limit on your inbox then you need to clear some of this out otherwise you're going to start having issues and you might not even receive some of your emails if you've got a full inbox you can even be charged more money so let's take a look at manual archiving these emails. So go to file inside the info. You should see mailbox settings inside here. You can click on this little drop down arrow here and you should see clean up old items. There's also set archive folder if you want to do that, but we're going to click on clean up old items. Now your archive box should be open. We're going to leave the radio button in archive this folder and all subfolders. And what I'm going to do here is click on uh, the area that I want to click on here, which is my email address. This will make sure we're archiving everything below uh, this email address here, including all of the sent items and everything else. So let's go ahead and do that. So next up, what we're going to do here is archive items older than and choose the date that we want to archive from. So for instance, if I want to go back to say 2019 or 2020, we can do that. So I can click on say January uh, 2020 uh, at the first here, and it will archive everything before that time. So and that's what we're going to do here. So it's going to go ahead and archive all of this stuff. So click OK when you're ready. And uh, what that will do is it will set up an archiving folder on your PC. And it's also going to start to add an archiving area inside your menu here. Let's have a look here and you can see archiving. And this is all our emails that are going to be archived. You'll see it starting to count down in a second. It's just got to get it all ready. And once that's done, it should start coming down here. There we go. It's starting to archive everything from the date that we selected before that period. It's going to archive it in this section here. Now, a thing you have to remember is this is going to be stored on your PC. So it's important that you back up this data once it's all archived. I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on in the video. So now we've got all of this archived, it's gonna go through everything below our email address here, and this is how you can do it. So next we're gonna archive personal folders. So let's go up to file here, and once you're inside file, go to your account settings, and then choose account settings here. This will open up the account settings, click on the data file tab up here, and on there you should see add click on add and it will be added down the bottom here in this list you can see we've got other ones here so click add and this will allow you to add a, a PST file you can name it whatever you like you can see the archive.pst there which is the one we've just created and that's like four uh, gigabytes in size here so you can call this whatever you like if you want to take more manual control over what you're archiving, if you don't trust Outlook to do it all for you. So now we've got that one set called Brightech uh, Personal, and this can be called whatever you like. And once we've done this, we can now see added on the list here. So let me just close off this archives here so you can see it at the bottom. There it is there. 
And what you can do is drag and drop the emails that you want into this area. I can create another folder in here and call it whatever I like. For instance, uh, reviews, if it's uh, a particular uh, load of people that I want to put in here that contact me, I can put them into this section here. I can also put uh, contacts or whatever it is in here, and it will be uh, organized by myself and I can take full control of it. And all I need to do is drag them into this area here and they will all be archived in that section if you want to do that manually, if you don't trust Outlook to do it all for you. So right click on there and go to the properties area and we can now go to folder size here and you can see it's already come down by quite a bit. And I can bring this down even more if I wanted to archive uh, more, but you can see on my inbox now I've only got 1,672 uh, emails, and if I wanted to trim that back even more, I could uh, easily do that. Okay, so let's talk about auto archiving emails. Let's go ahead and set this up. So we're going to go up to File, and then inside here we're going to go down to the Options setting down the bottom here, and this will open up the Outlook options. In the middle we should see Advanced. Click on this, and you should see Auto Archive. In the auto archive settings, you can set this up to how you like, run auto archive every 14 days or how many days it is that you want to set it up on. And this will start to auto archive. You can also prompt before auto archive runs and you can delete expired items, uh, emails, folders only and archive or delete old items or whatever it is you want to set yours up as. You can read through all this at your own leisure and set it up. You can do it by months and weeks and days, and you can even name an archive yourself to whatever it is you want to do by using the browse button here. Once you've got this set, you don't want to apply all these settings to all folders. If you want to do this to just one folder, just click at the OK button and then we can go down. If you want to do it to all folders, click on the apply to all folders and you can give this a, a name of your choice, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, you don't want to call it archive because we've already got one called archive. So you don't have two called archive. Uh, you don't want to click on that. Just OK that and come out of here and then choose which one you want to auto archive. Maybe it's your sent items. Maybe it's your uh, your your YouTube channel. Maybe it's something else. And you can right click and go properties on there and you can choose the auto archive here and archive items in this folder using the default settings as you can see here, and you can archive this folder using these settings and you can set it up how you like in there. And you can move them to a location by hitting the browse button and uh, choose the destination you want. You can also permanently delete old items as well. That's the auto archive section there. Uh, pretty straightforward and easy to do, but you can choose which one suits you. Now, this is the most important one, backing up your archives. It's important that you back up all of these ones that are stored on your computer. I'm going to be putting these onto my NAS. So I'm going to create a new folder on my NAS called email backups or something along those lines. So let's go ahead and create this folder quickly. So I'm just going to go email backups and uh, you can give it a description, Outlook emails, whatever you want to call it. So you can recognize it here. And uh, so I'll leave it in that location as well. And uh, that's all now done. So you can choose your options on your system or whatever way you're backing yours up, whether it be to an external drive or whatever it is you're uh, backing it up to. I'm going to back it up to a NAS. So let's go ahead and uh, leave this as is. I'm leaving those as is there. Recycle bin, that's OK. Click Next. There is an option here to encrypt your folders if you want to. I'm going to leave this unchecked because I don't want to encrypt them. And we're going to move on to the next section. So let's go Next here. And it just gives me a little summary of what I'm setting up. Now we need to put the permissions in. So I'm going to put the Brightec user account here, disable uh, admin here. So let me just go read right here. I'll probably restrict admin access. So I'll take the tick out here and just put guest no access and also admin no access and just leave it for myself. And you should now see a folder there called email backups. And what we're going to do is get all our emails into this folder here. So let's go ahead and get this all set up. So I can log in uh, to my main system here by just going here and go down to network. And I'm just going to click on this one here and this will open up the folders here so I can see email backups. Click on this one. And now all I need to do is copy and paste my archives all into this area here. So let's go ahead and do this quickly. 
Now, if you don't have a NAS drive, you can always use an external hard drive or you can use the cloud and upload it to there, whatever method you want to choose. Now, you should really have this in three locations uh, just to be safe. And uh, this can be all of your emails backed up. Never rely just on your email server to back all your emails up because if it goes wrong, you can end up losing everything. And I've seen it happen quite a few times. So it's always important to back up your emails and uh, some of these will have all your contacts and other information inside here, which is essential for you to access. And you can always reload this archive back into Outlook at a later date if you need to. I'm just going to quickly let this upload to the server here. And there you go. It's all up onto my NAS drive. So that's basically how you can archive all of your emails and take control back of your inbox inside Outlook. It's very simple and easy to do. Now, if you enjoy this type of content, Maybe consider checking out some of my other videos on my YouTube channel or check out my playlist. I've got tons of videos on here. There's over 2,500 videos that will help you uh, understand computers a lot more better. Also, maybe consider subscribing and then hitting the bell and click on all so you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you want to support me a little bit further, you can hit the join button, which will help you join my YouTube members group. And I always put the names up at the end of the video where you can see who's joined my YouTube members group. Because £4.99, you can cancel any time. You get some loyalty badges and emojis, and you can join my Discord server and have a YouTube members uh, area there where you can chat to me inside that area. Just like these people you see rolling up on the screen right now who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. If you haven't joined a Discord server, the link is in the video description. Hopefully, I will see you over there. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.